So if y'all don't know, I'm petty as fuck. And I absolutely don't tolerate racist people. So while working as an AP manager, I got asked to help cover a neighboring store. So I decided to go over to that store and I took one of my AP associates from my store with me. We'll call her Sandy. And while I helped the store prepare for inventory, Sandy assisted the AP associate that worked at that store. He worked in AP at that store for a number of years, but I really didn't know much about him. And we'll call him Mike. A little bit of time goes by and I get a text from Sandy telling me that she needs me in the office ASAP. I explained to her that I was a little bit busy and I wanted some details of what was going on. She tells me that they had just made a stop on a young lady and it was going bad and sent me a small audio clip. And in that audio clip, you could hear Mike berating this young lady and being racist to her. The young lady that they had stopped was black and she'd only stolen one item. And that one item was a feminine medical hygiene product to treat an infection. And we later found out that she only stole that because she was embarrassed of her situation. Everything else in her cart was paid for. Among the items that she did pay for was some hair care products. Apparently Mike got her in the office and started making fun of her medical situation. And then told her that he was surprised that she didn't steal the hair care products because they have to lock them up because of you people. Him saying the you people line was the audio clip that Sandy sent me. At this point I immediately go to the office and walk in the door. When I walk in he looks up to me but then continues to talk down to this young lady right in front of me. On the corner of the desk was a box of latex finger gloves. You know, the little ones you just roll onto your fingers to protect you when you pick up stuff. I grab that box and throw them to him and tell him to take those with his small dick energy and go wait out in the vestibule and I'll talk to him shortly. He looked at me confused and honestly didn't believe that he had done anything wrong, but he got up and he waited out in the vestibule. I sat down and I immediately apologized to the young lady who was in tears at this point and explained to her that we wouldn't be pressing charges or even writing her up in our system. I gave her the number to the store and the number to corporate and told her that she was free to go. Sandy grabbed the feminine hygiene products, went out to the register, paid for them for her, brought them back to her discreetly and told her she could have them. The young lady did offer to pay for those items, but Sandy wouldn't let her. I took Mike back to the store manager's office and sat down with him and explained exactly what happened. Mike still believed that he had done nothing wrong and even told us that he had worked in that area for some time and quote, you have to know how to talk to these people. Mike was terminated on the spot that day and I was the one that came in and done the rehire for the new APA in that store. Even if someone's in the wrong, you always show them respect and compassion for their situation no matter who they are. That's all I've got, beautifuls. I love y'all. Stay petty. Merch links in bio. And I'll see you guys later.